In this lecture, I will give you the solution for the exercise. We're going to run AC analysis using Python scripting. Now let's get started. The first task is to run AC analysis.asc file using Python scripting. Now let's go to Python IDE. We go to Spider, we go to the right directory for the solution. And this is the Python code. We run this cell first. And uh, next, we're going to use Python to run this ASC file. Once we run it, we can see the LT spice will open the .asc file. Also, the raw data has been created. We can add specific trees like Vout here to check the AC response, which is the body plot. The second job is to create the text file from the given .asc file. As we have done many times before, we go to .asc file window. We choose view and uh, use spice net list. Right click, edit as independent net list. Save as .car file in the same directory. Go to file, we save as .txt. Now the second job is finished. Let's go to spider to use the batch mode to run this text file we just created. We can hit Before you run any Python scripting, make sure you close everything in LT Spice. Now let's go to Spider to run this text file using Python scripting in batch mode. We can use the short key, control, and enter. Now let's check the directory. We can see raw data is created. The fourth job is to modify the text file using Python scripting. Let's go back to Spider. And uh, the original text file is this name. And uh, the resistor 1 original is 1K. Capacitor 1 original is 0 0.1 microfarad. This is code as we did before, the resistor as 10K, capacitor 1 as 1 microfarad. We change the name as the same name given in the requirement, and we will run the current cell. Let's go back to the directory of this text file, open it using Notepad in Windows. The parameter has been updated accordingly. And uh, we know this is the AC analysis, uh, 20 points per decade frequency from 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz. Make sure we close this window. Let's go back to Spider to run the last cell. We run the last cell. By use the batch mode, Python will run this text file we just created silently. It's done. Go back to the same directory. We can see the raw data has been created. And associated with raw data, we have another log file, which gives you the header information for this specific simulation. The sixth task is to open the newly generated raw file in LTSpice and draw the body plot of Vout. We can go to LTSpice by clicking this file, we close it, we open the raw data we just created, choose open, right click, add trace, Vout. So now this is the body plot of Vout, given new parameters, resistor R1 as 10K, capacitor C1 as 1 microfarad. We left click the mouse at Vout. You can see the cursor is shown as well as the window for the cursor. 
we can hold left key of the mouse to remove the cursor. The DC gain is 0 dB, so at spanner 3 dB, we can check this number. So we gradually move the cursor and stop around minus 3 dB. At this frequency, at magnitude equals to minus 3 dB, the frequency is around 16 Hz, and the phase is about minus 45 degree. This is correct result. The final task is to export the raw data into text data in the format of Cartesian coordinate with real part and the imaginary part. We click the plot window, red click, go to file, export data as text, we choose V out. Make the window bigger so that we can edit the name. Underline data, underline RE for real part, and IM for imaginary part. We change the format to Cartesian as required, and we hit OK. Now let's go back to the directory we can see the data is newly created. We open it in Windows Notepad. There are three columns in this data. First column is frequency from 1 Hz to 100 kHz. Second column is the real part for Vout. Last column is the imaginary part for Vout. That's all for this solution. Thank you very much.